So this is an implementation of a three variable sum of product expression using four by one multiplexer. I have done this problem, I did this problem before, but uh, I will do it a bit differently now. So we have a four by one multiplexer and we need to implement this truth table, which is a three variable sum of product expression. So the truth table is there. Uh, now we don't have to get the truth table from the expression actually we have we have that we have been given the truth table so all we have to do is implement that so this is the 4 by 1 max max and it has four select inputs and uh, sorry four inputs two select inputs because it's 4 by 1 so two select will uh, select four input lines and there is one output of course because it's a multiplexer so when I did this problem previously, what I did is I used B and C as select uh, inputs. But now I will do, I will use A and B as select inputs and C will be, C or whatever will be at the input, input in at the input lines. So we have A and B. So what the strategy is, what we recall, uh, the strategy is we have to look at the change of the select inputs and accordingly we have to compare the input line with output line basically. So we have C, we have to compare C with X. What happens with C with X when our select pins are, uh, select inputs are changing. So what we can notice here is this is 0, 0 condition. And when this is 0, 0 condition, how C and X are related? Which is because C will be at the input lines and A and B at the just select. So A and B is selecting which input line will be going to the output basically. That's what multiplexer does. So when S0 and S1 is 0, 0, then this one will go to the output. When this is 0, 1, this one, sorry, I'm doing wrong. So when S0, S1 is uh, 0 0 s1 s0 is 0 0 and then when 0 1 so when this is 0 0 this line will go to the output when this is 0 1 this is 1 and when 0 1 this one will go to output and 0 1 0 this one will go to output and 1 1 this one will go to the output so when this is 0 0 we can see that if c is 0 x is 1 and when so c is 0 x is 1 c is 1 x is 0 that means c is being inverted so we can just write here c inverted uh, c not basically because if c is 0 output will be 1 if c is 1 output will be 0 and that's what we want because when s0 and s1 these are 0 0 this line will be selected basically i0 is selected okay when so this is our s1 and this is our s0 and did i write it properly actually yeah i think i wrote it uh, uh, no i didn't so this should be actually what i should do i should write it a bit differently so that was wrong basically so this is s1 and this is s0 and this is a this is b so this is a this is b that means when 0 0 0 0 gives i 0 0 1 gives i 1 1 0 gives i 2 and 1 1 gives i 3 so i 0 goes to x i 1 goes to x that that means i 0 goes to output or this one goes to output or this one goes to output depending what is s 1 and s 0 so when s 1 and s 0 is 0 1 the second condition then i1 will go to the output i1 will be x or x will be i1 basically so we have to look now here how c and x are related so when c is 0 x is 0 when c is 1 x is 1 that means whatever is c is going to the output so we can here we can write for i1 we can just write c so i will erase these two because we'll, yeah so c is at i1 we can just connect c at i1 so when s1 and s0 when this is 0 1 i1 will go to the output and we have seen that c is 
output is following C basically when A is 0 and uh, B, B is 1 ok now let's see the third condition when these two 1 0 that means S1 S0 1 0 and that's our AB basically so 1 0 and when that happens we know when this is the 1 0 that means I2 will go to X or X will be X will follow I2 the input I2 line will go to the output so we have to see now what is how C and X are related so when C is 0 X is 1 when C is 1 X is 0 that means it's again inverting so we can just write C bar here because it's inverting finally 1 1 that means the fourth line is fourth input line is selected that that means fourth input line will go to the output so i3 will go to x when both s1 and s0 are 1 so now we see what happens to how c and x are related again we can see that they are inverted when c is 0 x is 1 when c is 1 x is 0 so this will be again inverted so this will be our design so here we have selected uh, a we have used a and b inputs as select inputs so and this is how the design will go so initially i did something wrong i wrote this is uh, so basically s1 is a and s0 is b 